Today, we're going to talk about Patcher and how to get it set up in your effects rack, how to do audio routing, what everything means, and how to also do more sophisticated stuff like sidechain within Patcher. Now, if you're not familiar with Patcher, this is a perfect video for you. We're going to talk about surface and synthesizer routing in a future video, but let's focus on effects. Right now, I have a basic loop in Massive. And I have Patcher, but I haven't turned it on just yet. So let's go ahead and turn it on. We'll notice that the loop is now muted. And the reason why is that Patcher has a few controls here. Let's ignore Surface. Let's focus on this from FL Studio to FL Studio. So go ahead and establish that first connection by clicking and dragging. With the project muted, we can see the arrows here pointing in the direction and we can also adjust the volume by clicking and bringing up to default 100% or increase, decrease. We can also right click, which will mute. Now let's go ahead and add something to this list. So I'm gonna add an effect. I'm gonna right click, add plugin. Let's bring in sausage fattener. Now you can bring in fruity effects, you can bring in third party and you'll notice that there's an orange knob Let's go ahead and route this, click and drag to this one, Sausage. And I'm going to also drag it to FL Studio. And what I'm gonna do with this one, I'm gonna right click and mute this. I have it being routed to Sausage Fattener. There's also a line going straight ahead. So you can do parallel mixing. You don't have to just route it one way. You can route it multiple ways at the same time. Let's show you what I mean. Let's go ahead and add, for instance, a Fruity Reverb. And let's go ahead and click and drag another one. So orange, again, is for audio input, audio output. And let's go ahead and drag this. This dry signal going to Fruity Reverb with just wet coming to FL Studio. I also have the dry signal going to Sausage and then to FL Studio. And you can get as complex or as simple as you'd like. Let's go ahead and add another plugin just at the final stage. So let's go ahead and maybe add, let's just say maybe you were doing some automation. Maybe you want Fruity Fast LP. So I'm going to just leave this be. So I'm going to take Fruity Reverb plug it into fast LP. I'm also going to take sausage fattener, plug it into fast LP. Now, again, if I play this back, it's going to be muted. You have to make sure that you connect that final destination. Now, of course, Fruity Reverb has a dry and wet knob, so you can do parallel mixing right within there. But there's many reverb plugins that don't support that and just have a single mix knob. So this is a perfect, easy way within one effect. You can do parallel mixing. You could even do sidechain. I'll show you what I mean. Let's go ahead and add something like Fruity Limiter. I would like to sidechain the reverb. I'm going to put the reverb up here. I'm going to drag this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the output of Fruity Reverb and plug it right into Fruity Limiter. Now, just the wetness is going to Fruity Limiter. And I'm going to go ahead and send this output to Fast LP, which again is going to the final destination. But I do need another input for sidechain because typically when we do it on our mixer rack, we use, right, we use the side chain just on the mixer rack. Here with Fruity Limiter, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to input, audio, and I'm going to go ahead and add one. So we have an additional input and you can add, you can remove. So what I'm going to do with this is Fruity Limiter needs to know, well, what's the dry signal? Do you want the dry signal from Sausage? It's up to you. Do you want the dry signal from the original source? Again, it's totally up to you how you want to sculpt this. Let's just say I want the dry signal from Sausage. I'm going to go into Fruity Limiter. I'm going to go into the compression. I'm going to right click and I'm going to select input one as the sidechain. And I know that's correct because hovering over here, I see input one at the top left. 
This one is main input. So it's receiving input one sausage. So now we have completely wet going into fruity limiter. We have sausage that goes into fast LP into the master and sausage is also giving information to fruity limiter. Now we need to make sure that we adjust the settings correctly. So just a quick way, of course, we know that side chaining it, we need to crank up the ratio, bring down the threshold, adjust this to your liking. Let's crank up the reverb so we can really hear it breathe and stop when the dry signal is playing from Sausage Fattener. So this is a great way you will free up effects on your rack. You can save this and come back to it and just bring in this preset on a different synth on something else and you don't have to worry about too many complicated peak controller upon peak controller. It's all contained and so there's so much power with this. Let's go ahead and add like a final plugin. Good old Camel Crusher. I'm going to add Camel Crusher just as the final and go ahead there. Now you'll see some other colors. We'll talk about the other colors in a future video. Knobs that you can create with a surface to make your own GUI, which look fabulous. Camel Crusher has a beautiful, nicely pleasant rolling 16 kilohertz filter. Let's just add a little bit of that compression and we should be good to go. So to recap, we have a dry signal going to Sausage Fattener, going to Fruity Fast LP, Camel Crusher, and out. We have another dry signal going to Fruity Reverb with complete wetness to Fruity Limiter, but Fruity Limiter is listening to Sausage Fattener's signal for the sake of compressing the wetness. Then the Fruity Limiter and Sausage Fattener then combine into Fruity Fast LP. They go to Camel Crusher, and straight out. Now here we're using five plugins, but just on Patcher alone, it's just one. And keep in mind, you can go ahead and do even more, right? Let's say you wanted another reverb. Well, go ahead and draw another one. And you can say, you know what? Maybe you wanna bypass everything. Maybe you wanna even bypass Camel Crusher and you just wanna go straight to it. So there's so much possibility. You could add EQs in between this. I could go like this. I could drag that. I could let Sausage Fattener go here. And then I could say, you know what, then go into LP. And then I could say, you know what, I'll roll off a little bit of the lows. And I can do the same thing with this. Roll off some of the lows. And now it's getting, it looks a little ugly here, but still, this just showcases how easy it is. And this is just effects. Patcher has so much power, and we're gonna talk about it in some future videos with synthesizers, controlling UI, making your own knobs, making your own sort of VST, if you will. I hope you guys enjoyed this introduction video on Patcher. If you did, remember to smash up the like button. If you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and that way you're alerted of the uploads. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.